101 Experiments for Everyday Life, number 10, Feel Eternal. Now, the way the book describes this one is that you're supposed to, you're supposed to uh, feel eternal, is that you're supposed to uh, see your time, or your skin as time, and then you're supposed to go farther and farther into yourself, and you get farther and farther away from time, and stuff like that doesn't really make sense to me, and apparently it takes a long time to figure it out, I decided, hey, why not try a different tactic? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to think of the people I know now, but it's the people I know now, they're long gone, and it's just like I've had succession of succession of succession of people in my life. So, like, the people I know now were, like, the people I knew in kindergarten, and then I've met new people since then, and people after that, people after that. So, then it's just, you start, you get to know people, and then it goes faster, like, the years go faster. Because, let's face it, when you were in kindergarten, one year was one-fifth of your life. When you were 10, a year was one tenth of your life. When you were 20, one twentieth, and stuff like that. So time goes by faster and faster and faster. And sooner or later, some love of your life, the person that means the most to you, the most intense, right now, it would be, they would be gone so far away so quickly. I mean, imagine you loved one person, and that person is like, an acquaintance you met for a couple days in kindergarten. They were just there for some reason. It was a substitute kindergarten teacher or something like that. Somebody you had for three days or something like that. And that's how eventually you're going to feel and you know that. So you... I don't know if you distance yourself or if you'd emotionally distance yourself or if just your mind would do something like cause heck Alzheimer's you meet somebody yesterday you don't remember who the heck they are you meet someone today I mean that's why people are no good with names anymore it doesn't work too well heck I've met so many people just working that I don't remember names so yeah Eventually you start to feel old, you start to feel tired, but it's not a physical kind of tired. Well, right now it is a physical kind of tired because I'm on quite a while. I need to sleep soon. But it's not a physical tired, it's emotional tired. You don't feel like you want to do something like that. You just... You are. And if you are eternal, that means that you are and you are going to be for a very, very long time. So, it is what it is, I guess, but doing that, you look back at the scope of your life and you're like, holy shit, it just doesn't really work that well. You're so old, you're so far gone, and that's who you are now. supposed to be depressing. Didn't read that. It does give you a lot of perspective on life, I guess. It's interesting, that's for sure.